this artist appreciation is a bit different. So when it comes down to it, we usually talk about an artist has NSFW and you know all that type of stuff. But this time I actually want to turn the attention to someone that is slightly you know in a raunchy feel but at the very same time doesn't go fully all the way at least as far as i'm aware today i want to talk about an artist that honestly just doesn't do only art but actually has their own game they're trying to make much less music that they have made which damn boy they be making some slapping ass music which is genesis keys now you might have heard of them you might not it wouldn't surprise me because to be honest i didn't hear about them until literally I think this year. So when it comes down to it, you know, they be they be all over the damn place when it comes down to just crafting whatever the hell they want to craft. So as I said before, they do art and they have a lot of nice stuff. A lot of stuff that looks like rough sketches, but at the same time, I think that's just the style how they kind of just draw things, which you know, to each their own, and that's just kind of how it is. But the thing about Genesis Keys is literally that their art is less about the, you know, lewd side of things. It's more just the fact that the, the hoes be thick. The hoes be mad thick. And that's essentially what you're going to be getting. Like, if you're an ass person, you're going to enjoy this 100%. But when it comes down to it, though, you know, again, that's not the only field of expertise they are in. They also have music, which, to be honest, I'm just going to start playing a bit of tracks that honestly I do hella enjoy and listen to on the damn daily because these are some fire ass tracks honestly. Been wanted to use some of these for an edit but I haven't had the time so I'm just gonna let some of these play and you can just see for yourself how fire and just awesome these tracks can actually get though. See what I'm saying? This shit absolutely effing slaps, dog. Like, it's literally some slapping ass music, slapping behavior. It's dope as shit. Honestly, that's what I honestly, like, really found him off of is the music. Because I was like, damn, what is this track? I need to know who the hell, you know, make this. And that's just how it is. But then, there's also the fact that there is a game that Genesis made, which comes out of, I think, an engine 2D FM, which is like a 2D fighting machine program I, I don't necessarily know the exact name but when it comes down to it there is a actual playable concept demo that you can play of a game that he's trying to create and it is hella fun i'm not gonna hold you excuse the quality if the gameplay looks like absolute dog shit because i don't know how to absolutely like record the 
gameplay to the fullest extent of how it could be, but when it comes down to it though, it's hella fun. You play as a thick ass, potentially Latina ass woman and somehow just beat ass and chokes you out with, you know, leg movements and has a gun that she shoots with her thighs, which to be perfectly honest, sounds like a grand ass time. It just sounds grand as all hell. You mean tell me you wouldn't want to be put in that position and being choked the hell out by her? I would, 100%. She about bad as all hell. You gotta be crazy not to want to be that position. And to be honest, I play like a hell of a lot of rounds. Probably like seven rounds or eight in the entire time I was recording it. And when it comes down to it, this game is definitely hella fun. That being said, obviously because it's a concept demo, this game got a lot of jank to it. So you know you might actually be able to, you know, hit an opponent from across the screen, even though they were completely out of your reach. You might bounce across the screen like crazy because that totally happened to me. No matter where I was, just randomly bouncing across the screen, which I had to restart the game and then come back into it. Then, you know, there's like weird frames that kind of happen out of place in certain areas. But again, it's a concept demo. It's not even the full game, so it, you know, it is what it is when it comes down to it. And you can obviously play it on itch.io, but you know, that's just at least where I found it. And when it comes down to it though, it's just like, there's just, there's just so much to like about this game. The music is hella good in here, obviously, but that's a given. You know, the character design, even though it's just one character that is playable, she about thick as hell, so why not? And the good thing is about this is that the game is being like actually worked on and it's not just a concept demo because there is like other videos of, you know, Genesis Keys working on the game and trying to make this, you know, work out and stuff. So it's still very much out there. It just, you know, it's gonna take a minute because this is a 2D animated kind of game. So if you know what Skullgirls is, you see how nerve movement kind of is, then you know how hard 2D animation can kind of be. So when it comes down to it, it's gonna take some effing time. So yeah, it's not necessarily gonna be the easiest thing in the world though. But for me, the reason why I would say I like this game is because of the fluidity of how the characters move and how the ass cheeks jiggle, cause gosh damn. But when it comes down to it though, you know, it, there's just so much to like, honestly. And even with the special effects and the animation effects and how the characters get damaged even, that jungle is just mad slapping. It just slaps really damn hard. So of course I'm gonna just sit here and enjoy and play the game honestly, cause why wouldn't I? So to be perfectly honest, at the end of everything, you know, if you are someone that's curious into more of Genesis work and stuff, and you just want to see what they end up doing in the future, then definitely I would say go fall. And to be perfectly honest, I am also curious to see where this game personally goes and how much other music that they can just slap as bangers, honestly, too. So, to be perfectly honest, there's a lot of things that I can really sit here and just point out and enjoy, but I think I'll leave it here. And when this video actually, like, you know, ends in dialogue form, I'll actually just let a match or two play in the background before the video just ends. So you can at least get a whole match uninterrupted completely. So that's just essentially what I wanted to say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification right out. Also follow me on socials and you like to do this to the channel. Go find and catch out this video as well. And until next time, it's time off. Have a blessed day.